Well, hello there, innovators, and welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be focusing on a rib command. In some cases, it works, in others, it does not. For example, in this case here, the rib command works perfectly because we have flat planar surfaces. In this case, it would not work, and I'll give you some examples as such. And also, in this case, it doesn't work as efficient. Now, let's dive right in. First thing we're going to do is work out with this exercise here. I start out by creating a new component. Create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to use a center rectangle. Start in the center. Give it some dimensions. Make it a square. Let's finish the sketch and go ahead and extrude it. And let's do the same thing again. Create another sketch here. Center rectangle. And let's make this about 15. Do the same thing again, extrude it. This time, let's do this about seven, make it a little bit taller, slightly taller. All right. Select the front view. Let's bring it back. Select the front view. Let's create a sketch on this plane here. We can rotate it the way we want it. Let's use the line command to create a line from here to here. Close it off and from here to here. And now it's closed. Let's finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and grab the rib command. Select this profile here. We'll make the width about five. We're going to reverse it. And as you can see, it sits perfectly, right? And let's go ahead and finish this up by using the circular pattern command. I'm going to select features, feature we just created. Select the axis. I'm going to select the Z axis. Shapes of four. Now we have it. Now this works perfectly. All right, let's try another example. Let's create a new component. Let's go ahead and hide the first component. Again, select the top plane. Let's create a circle, center circle. And make it 35. Screw command, five millimeters. Once again, same thing. All right. Now we're gonna try that same technique we did before, okay? Select the line tool, this point here, and the edge, as you can see, we can't grab it because again, it's round. So what we're gonna do to get that edge to project, use the project command, hit the P key, selection filter, it's gonna be bodies. Let's try that once again. All right, now we got some geometry to work with. Select the line command, select this top point and this bottom point. It's actually closed now. Finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and grab the rib command. All right. Now here's the problem we run into with using round edges trying to create a rib. Okay. 
The rib command is not smart enough to basically stop where we need it to. And we'll show you some workarounds. Even if we try to reverse it, it's still not going to give us the desired effect. All right. So let's back up. Okay. Let's go ahead and make all our sketches visible. Because what we want to do is back it up to that sketch. And let's delete everything after that. Okay. You could also just basically control Z to, to do reverse, to back it up. All right. What we're going to do is differently. So let's go ahead and create a sketch and let's put it on this face here. Let's grab the two point rectangle and make sure that it starts at this point and overlaps a little bit beyond the edge. Let's use the midpoint command, select this edge and this point here. So it'll be directly in the center. Let's give it some dimensions. We'll just make it an even 20. Let's go ahead and make this five. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. We're going to use the modify tool set panel, select split face. The faces we want to split is going to be the cylinder here. The splitting tool we want to use is this geometry we just created. We don't need to extend beyond just about that much, as long as it goes correctly uh, through. Click OK. All right. Now let's bring back the previous sketch. So we got more geometry to work with. All right. So what we're going to be doing is using the loft command to create the rib we want. Select the loft command. Select this face and this geometry here. As you can see, it now creates a rib, the perfect rib. If you ever run into a problem where you see red and it doesn't work, make sure you click the close command to make sure the geometry is closed. Click OK. All right. And now continuing this, let's just go ahead and use the circular pattern command. Select features, the loft we just created. The axis we want to be is this body here, this face. We want to have four sections. All right. Let's go ahead and bring all the geometry back. And what I can do is I can actually move this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, and let's bring back the other component. And as you can see, this is what it gives us. And last but not least, let's create another component. And we're gonna make it complex. So let's go ahead and hide the other components. And what we're going to be creating is this complex object here. Create a sketch. Center rectangle. Same procedures as we did before. Except now, instead of another square, we're going to be using a circle. Okay. What we're going to be doing is using the same procedure in which we created this. All right. But I'm just going to do a quick demonstration to show you why it still will not work. All right. Let's create a sketch. Let's put it on a, this plane here. Okay. Again, because this is a rounded edge here, we can grab it. But we also have this edge here and we don't have to worry about creating... Uh, our projection line. Let's close this off, but we do need to close it. So let's go ahead and take this and bring it down. 
And now it's light blue, which basically shows that this geometry is actually closed. Let's finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the rib command. Select the rib. And once again, we have that exact same problem because it doesn't know when to stop. It just keeps on going almost to infinity. Now, if we select distance, we may be able to control that somewhat. But here's the problem. We have this edge here. We don't want it. We want it to actually give us the same contour we have as this rounded edge. So it does work somewhat, but it's not the desired result we want. All right, let's go ahead and cancel that. And let's back up. Now, let's go ahead and create a sketch and put it on this top face. And same thing, two point rectangle. Just make it 20. All right. Finish the sketch. And once again, modify, split face, faces to split. It's going to be the cylinder here. Splitting tool is going to be this here. And there you have it. Be sure to bring back the sketch because you're going to be using it. All right. Use the law of command. Select these two faces here. All right. Turn off the sketch. Use a circular pattern command. Select features, the loft we just created. The axis, cylinder body, quantity four. And there you have it. Let's bring back all four. I'm gonna grab this one and move it actually let me go ahead and hide this one and we'll go ahead and move this one all right and bring them all back and there you have it Using the rib command in some cases works perfectly, while in others you have to get a little creative. Well, I hope you liked this brief exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.